Welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is a list of our sinking funds and we did add some money in between the end of June and now but I didn't make a video so I'm just going to give you an update of our trackers that I've created and add some money into our personal funds. So um, to simplify the video I'm only going to add money into these four accounts today also because I feel like we're limited to withdraw money um, every paycheck about four or five hundred dollars so to simplify the process I have decided to just put a hundred dollars in each of our personal accounts Ricardo is running low I know I've already spent some money so this needs to get some money. I'm having a difficulty figuring out whether I want to add the same amount for Evelyn and Valerie because their main budget is candy. <laughs> um, well, Evelyn's anyways. So, here I have $400. One, two, $250, three, $320, $350, $400, so I'm going to add $100 per envelope, have them right here, and then we on the 20s, I have to spend the most money. <laughs> Here is the original amount I put the first time we added money. Battery. So technically today is the 11th, but we withdrew the money from the July 10th check. So we're gonna add a hundred dollars per. And then I'm gonna wait because I'm I'm most likely gonna add money here and then take out money depending on what we spent this month. But I wanted to show you all my trackers. So these are it. Let's just do one page at a time. So there's some that I made um trackers for and there's some that I haven't because I'm not sure how much I want to save for certain things so um I just rounded my numbers up to something that would be divisible by the amount of money that I add into the envelope every month or every other paycheck so 640 is pretty common and then this one this one and then 320, 12 This might go up just because with the new house, I know we're gonna have a lot of renovations or updates or whatever we wanna do to the house. But for now, I think this is a good cushion because it will be a new house. So we won't wanna do anything immediately. It's just, you know, a cushion to have in case we need to buy anything for the house. We don't need new cars. This is more for, like, oil changes, um, maybe spark plugs soon. This is for a house warming in October. And then insurance, uh, as I mentioned before, we dropped it down. It was 1600 and we got it down to a thousand and ten dollars but technically if you include his motorcycle insurance that's about 240 a year so if we wanted to pay that all off at once that'd be a good option um but again cushion like an extra thousand i mean two hundred dollar cushion travel i am planned to go to california in november that isn't set in stone, but maybe. Oh yeah, February and uh, August of every year we do our in we pay our insurance every six months, 
And then utilities, we don't have many utility bills right now because we pay a really high HOA. So I'm just foreseeing like all those initial startup costs for our water, our electricity, our gas bill. I'm not sure if we have a trash bill at the new home. Subscriptions, the way I got this number was um, we have three or four different subscriptions. So like Amazon Prime is $120. His DAZN and his ESPN uh, is a total of $150, $155. And my Sapphire card is $95 a year. So it's around 300 We just paid the ESPN, so we just need to look forward to or be prepared for DAZN, Sapphire, and Amazon, which all hit around, I believe, October or November. So this is why that number exists. And then Christmas, my real budget is only $500, but again, I was rounding up. For a number that was divisible by 40 or 80 so that's December of course and I mean technically some people do this by November but since it's December 25th I figured December was an okay goal and then these are our bigger numbers so the reason why I made medical so high is because I do anticipate having a third child and we paid over $5,000 for just our midwife. So my original goal um, has to be higher than that because insurance doesn't cover home births. So 5,000, 6,000 maybe for this goal. And then these three, I simplified to 2,000 because appliances, I'm thinking like a washer and dryer are around that range. Everything else we'll have, like in the kitchen, we are gonna get the stove, the microwave, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, but we won't get washers and dryers. We didn't add that to our package. And then furniture, um, as I mentioned before in previous videos, we simplified our townhouse. It's much smaller um, downstairs. So we got only three chairs and then three stools in our dining area I, I got rid of our dining table as well so if we want a couch i'm imagining it'd be around two thousand dollars a couch set or sectional or whatever so this is a second goal for the new house and then technology we both have phones that are relatively uh, they're okay like I have an iPhone 8 and he has an XR so he's had his almost a year and a half and I've had mine going on three years so I do want to upgrade our technology it's not a necessity so I don't have goals per se for any of these because I don't know when we'll have a third child um, the washer and dryer is not like a priority but I do want to have that in the new house because I don't want to be going out with a newborn with clothes. But we will get that relatively soon, maybe October, by latest, mm, I'm not sure to be honest. And then furniture I don't really care for because we do have our three chairs. and. I don't anticipate having a lot of guests over since we'll have a newborn by the end of August. Technology is also no rush. Our phones work perfectly fine, but it's just a nice perk for us. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all our two trackers. Let's see if y'all can see that. A little better and all of these 40s 40s these 40s all match up down here so 
medical insurance and medical match up here. Christmas, home care, match up here. And that's it for today. I'm making the video really short. Um, we finally have a weekend where we're able to pack some of our stuff in our current townhouse. So we're going to use the opportunity since Ricardo doesn't work this weekend. So I'm going to get to that. See y'all next time.